Casa, Casa Fernandez. Or Casa Fernandez. Fernandez. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish we were that big. Appreciate All right. Hi. <laughs> hey, welcome to Straight Talk. I have Paul and Arsenio from the Casa Fernandez uh, factory visiting us here at Highland Cigars in Scottsdale. Arsenio is the master roller at your factory, Paul? No, he's the master blender. Blender. He worked for Cuba Tabaco 45 years. He's been with us for about 12 years. Awesome. Uh, he is a uh, master blender and also master, uh, you know, fermentation and curing of tobacco. Paul, tell me about some of the new things you're doing with uh, your brands like JFR. Okay. Well, let's start with who Casa Fernandez is. Uh, we're an agriculture conglomerate. That's what Agonorsa stands for. We're in a cattle, pork tobacco, rice, and humus, which is the organic fertilizer. On the tobacco end of our, <coughs> excuse me, our business, uh, we have 12 farms. We farm in Jalapa Valley, which is most like Pinat de Rio in Cuba. It's a red sandy soil. Condega Valley, which is in the middle. And then Esteli, which is black volcanic soil, which is where you get your power. Uh, within any farm, you've got five to seven lots of land. Those five to seven lots of land may abut each other, be totally different as far as blending attributes. Uh, we farm only Cuban seed. Cuba Seed uh, Criollo 98, Corojo 99, and Corojo 2006. What, does, what do those numbers mean? Those are the latest seeds to come out of Cuba, and uh, they're less impervious uh, to uh, blue mold and black shank. So our, you know, our real essence as a company is uh, you know, growing tobacco and blending tobacco. Uh, we make a lot of big private brands, and then we market about eight brands of our own. Uh, we have Casa Fernandez, Miami. The Toro was, uh, you know, number 12, top 25 from 2011 for Cigar Aficionado. So that's kind of what we do. We, we blend for balanced flavor and aroma. Now, getting back to Scott's original question, what we have that's new, a lot of you are aware of the 7x70. It's a 7x70 cigar, and it sells for 770 retail, uh, unless you're OTP tax in a particular state. Uh, we did that to show our capabilities. It is the only 70 ring gauge cigar in the market until it's copied. It won't be duplicated, but it's, you know, it might be copied. Well, those um, JFR cigars are great sellers for us. People love them. I, I mean, they love the quality, the flavor, the Corojo, the Connecticut, the Maduro. They're delicious cigars. Yeah, the, um, the JFR stands for just for retail. So we were one of the first about five years ago to come out with a contracted brand just for the stores, just for retail. So we registered JFR. Uh, within JFR you have Corojo and you have uh, Maduro. And then also one of the new items that were coming out in the 70 line, we're coming out with a Maduro, a 770 Maduro. So think of the Corojo 70 as a filet mignon, the Corojo Maduro, or the Maduro 70 will be like a T-bone steak, dark, rich, strong, like a chocolate bar. Uh, within our Agonorsa leaf, uh, we'll come out with uh, a box so press Maduro, right uh, San Andres, that, 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 that should be uh, shipping uh, end of uh, okay. April, and, your numbers on and the, it will on be one of our uh, IDCPR products this year. Also within the uh, Miami, Heseba okay. uh, line, we'll come up with All two right. new sizes. So that's really the, the line extensions we're going to do He'll this call year. You, back within, uh, five or ten you guys are true tobacconists. I mean, from the Thank farming end of it to getting the product out on the marketplace, it's great to do business with you guys. Thank you. Paul, I appreciate right, you coming to you. Scottsdale. Arsenio. Arsenio, thank you very much. Muchos gracias. Thank you. Muchas gracias.